The South Bend Alumni Association has sponsored seven websites for South Bend high schools. Many South Bend classmates did not graduate or appear in a high school yearbook. Yearbooks are the primary source for names and photos. I have scanned the junior, sophomore, and freshman pages for each yearbook. We'll take, use Adam's photo gallery as our source of information today. There's Adam's home website. Let me bring this over just a little bit here. In the photos gallery down here, if you go to yearbooks, you'll see all the yearbooks starting in 1942. We're going to concentrate on 20, 2004, as soon as I can find it here. We have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So we've scanned all the pages and put them in. Go back to the home page. <clears throat> Your task is to compare the underclassmate photos, which I've copied, with the current website database, what's in Adams right now. If a junior, sophomore, or freshman is not listed, then you need to add the classmate name into the proper graduation year. You can use MS Paint or on Apple to copy cut and paste the photo into the website. Senior photos then are available for reunion name badges. There's no need to save additional photos you have posted. I'm going to show you the matrix now. I have a matrix of all seven high schools. We're just looking at Adams right now. And 2004 here shows we should have 226 names, senior names. We've also have the 12 pages that made up the seniors, and seven pages for juniors, six pages for sophomores, and nine pages for the freshmen. So these are our other sources if we don't have a senior name for that. Okay, we're gonna use Adams 2004 database. When you become an admin, you'll see these gears at the top of your top right of your home page here. Click on it, come down to manage the classmates, the fourth item here. We're going to choose enter or edit classmates. And here we don't want everybody, we want only the classmates from 2004, right in the middle here. And we can see each one has a photo in there. Let me click on the first one here. There's the high school photo for the first classmate there. So now what we need to find out is, are, there, are we missing any of our classmates here? I'm going to go into... I have copied them all onto a folder over here for 2004 will be in this cluster here. In 2004, I want their junior pictures right here. Okay, I need to look at the first page here. Let me double click that. Make this a little bit smaller here. And I'll make it a little bit bigger down here. 
Thomas Adams, he's already in there. Julian is not in there yet, so we have to add her. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to minimize this, and we're going to go to this page here. I'm going to do a right-click, open with paint. The paint's going to be a very big screen. I'll move, move over here a little bit like this. And I have to make it smaller. Here's Julian right there, the second, second picture. Okay, I'm going to choose Select. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle around this picture. Try to get just the picture. And we're going to go up here and we're going to cut the image right here. And then I'm going to go to File, to Save As. I want it to be a JPEG picture. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it into Adams. What year? 2004 on my computer. And what was the name of that person? Well, the name was, I'll put a last name first. A L C A N T A R J U L I A N dot J P E G. Okay, it's spelled correctly. It's going to go in the 2004 base directory as a JPEG image. Save this, and I don't need this for a second. Okay, now let's. Okay, so now we've got this picture. We need to add a new member. Click on Add a New Member, and it's going to ask your graduation. Two o o. Put down 2004 right here. First name was Julian, J-U-L-I-A-N, tab, A-L-C-A-N-T-A-R. That's all we know so far. We don't know any other information on this. But I'm going to come down here. I'm going to save those changes. Okay. Now, we need to go find that name again. Put the last name in, a l See, you just need the first few letters, A, L, C. You can find Julian right here. You see, there's no picture here yet. So we're going to click on Add. Where did we put the picture? Well, we want, we want to put it in this slot right here, in the yearbook slot. So we click on Select. We're going to upload a new photo. Where are we going to get the photo? We're going to go to SB. AA. I'm going to go to Adams. I'm going to go to 2004 on my computer. And here's where I saved it just a few minutes ago. Yes, 207 in the morning. I'm going to double click on his name. It'll load. may take a minute. A little change. There it is. Same photo. Click. It'll give a bigger photo here. And we're going to save it. So it's still loading. There it is. You click Save. Take a second for this. Be sure to come down to the bottom and choose Save Changes. 
Now let's prove it's really in there. Last name, A L C A. Julian, there's his picture right there. We can look at details. The only thing we have is his name. We can look at edit profile. And we see his name is correctly, or picture is correctly in the high school slot. In our category here. The next one I have is put the name. A L C O C E R M A R A S T R I C. I'm going to add the name first this time, which is fine. Add the new member. Okay. First thing we need is the year of graduation. We said it's 2004. Down here's 2004. And that's the only information we have at this point. Be sure you add the save, do the save changes at the bottom. Okay, you get the first name. Hey, give me a break. Okay. Now, we need to go save the picture. We need to go find the uh, name again. A L C O C E C E. And you see, there's no picture here yet. I'm going to add a picture. So now we have to go back to the juniors here, and we have to find that picture. I'm going to right click because we know it's the first page, open with paint. Um, okay. Okay, she's the third picture here. I'm going to go into selection. I'm going to choose rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle around her picture like this. I'm going to cut it, which I did. I'll go to File, Save As, a JPEG picture. And where do we want to put it? It's in the same, I'm putting it in the same folder, 2004. And what was their name? Let me type it in here again. A L C O C E R M A R, comma A. Yep. A S T R I C according to the yearbook and we're going to save it up to 2004 we'll do save and then we can minimize paint now we need to go back we've got to her profile right here and you see there's nothing in the high school photo we're going to select we're going to update upload a new photo and here it is. We, it's alphabetical. It's within the base of the of all the 2004 data. Double click. It'll upload. It takes a second to do this. It'll change in a second here. Okay. Still loading. Be a big picture in a second. There it is. Click on save. Still loading. Okay, make sure to go to the bottom of the page here and save our changes. 
Now let's go back and find out if it, we really put her in here. A, L, C, O, C. Nope. And her picture's in there, right here. I'll just click on the picture. There it is. It works. Okay, back on the home page, let's go back to classmate profiles and choose class 2004. And we roll down, we should see back to the home page. And there we have it. There's tons and tons of data in here. Okay, now once you've gone through all the juniors, let's go through the sophomores and the freshmen. You will find some that were there for a while. They were in the yearbook on the pages, but uh, for some reason they either left town, changed schools, or they just weren't in the yearbook. In any case, they're not there, but we can add them here. And this is your task. Thank you for being a volunteer.